This is the KTO Pachyrhinosaurus. First discovered in Alberta, Canada, Pachyrhinosaurus was about 20 feet long and is known for the bony boss over its nose. This makes it one of the few ceratopsians without a horn. All right, hello everybody. This is the KTO Pachyrhinosaurus. We had another Pachyrhinosaurus not come out too long ago, like a week or two weeks ago. And so we got another one, which is super awesome. This one is a little bit smaller than that other mod and probably a little bit more accurate, but let's take a look. So this is our default model. I think it looks really good. Like there's really no notes I can say. It just looks really awesome. Version two, a little bit bigger in the back, a little bit bigger in nose boss right here and the frill is a little bit wider as well version three a lot skinnier we got a little bit of a deformed nasal boss here much shorter head lengthwise and then back to our version one this is the male default skin let's see the female skin right quick a lot darker and a bit more yellow than orange on the frill looks pretty good let's go through the calls right quick first up is broadcast Ooh, that's pretty cool, but a little bit tamer than I expected. Two call. Hmm, I would say that's more of like a miscellaneous sound. It doesn't sound friendly or threatening, you know? I don't know. Threaten? That's pretty good. I like the animation for that. Four call. I think they could have done a little bit more for that animation instead because it kind of just looks like a talk at emote rather than you know I surrender or help me talk that's pretty good actually shake oh that was like the most gentle shake ever look around there's a little sniff here Oh, look, you got the smoke from the nostrils. Love it. I'm guessing this one is a yawn. Yeah, I was right. Mystery one. Just like a huff, a little, <laughs> a little breathy huff. Okay. And uh, mystery two. That's nice. I think that's more of a territorial dispute type call. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, and here's the baby model. I can't zoom back from it any, but it's super bright. Like I did not expect the white and orange skin here. And he's got big eyes. It's very cute though. Super, super cute. Let's go through the calls right quick. First up is broadcast. I actually like the broadcast for the baby better than the adult. Two call. Cute. Threaten. <laughs> Little wisp of smoke. Four call. Yeah, I definitely think they could do more for the four call. Talk. Nothing nice. Shake. That works for the baby. Look around. Very cute. Nice sniff. Yawn. Super cute. It would be cool if they closed their eyes when they yawned. Mystery. Yeah, just that puff and territorial. Yeah, very, very nice. All right, let's go through the baby animations. First up is walk. Oh, well, it's pretty fast, actually. Like, you've got some speed here. And this is just the walk. Let's see, we walk. Mm, kind of a wide turn radius. But good enough. Our run. It's, yeah, it's just a faster trot, basically. Mm, it's pretty decent. And the animation, the <laughs> neck is so jiggly behind the frill. It looks pretty good. See if we have a jump as a baby. Oh, we do. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Let's look at the adult now. It looks very nice. 
again you can still see all the nice little scaly details you got the wrinkles this great frill with the mini horns that come out of top of it and then you got the nasal boss right over the nose but let's go through the animations right quick here's our adult walk definitely slower than the babies but that's a given yeah our walk turn is about just as wide as the babies, so not super super bad let's do our run Ooh, that acceleration takes a minute but honestly you don't feel that fast with the run see our run turn is just as wide as the walk turn really all right and we're gonna sit oh he lays all the way down super cute very easy simple animation let's sleep yeah we just lower the head tuck in close our eyes very nice very nice let's do our get up in the eyes yeah basically just reverse the animations let's see if we have a crouch we do looks good crouch walk <laughs> They're so big that it kind of barely looks like a crouch when you crouch walk. Now we're going to do our precise movement. So here's our turn in place speed. Oh, that's pretty decent, actually. Like, you're not super, super fast, but you're not slow at all either. So this is very good turn radius in place. And then to our left. That's pretty nice. I like that. Very smooth animation to our right. our back up and turn that one's very slow i wouldn't do that and just our back also very very slow probably wouldn't bother backing up like that all right here's our drinking animation like that i kind of dunked his whole face in the water but it's pretty easy pretty simple animation not like terrible at all all right and here's our swim animation a slow swim it's a decent speed it's not terribly terribly slow but it's not fast at all i would never say that um our speed swim only slightly faster but you know the animation looks really good so yeah i enjoy the way it looks all right let's look at these skins right quick remember this is the male default skin for version one Next, we have Dulahan, Mirage, Guardian, Amade, Savannah, Azure, Watermelon, Ondetto, Sunset, Racer, Honeycomb, Gladiator, Albino, Melanistic, and Boreal. I like all of these skins. Like, they're really, really good. There's a lot of variety, a lot of different colors and different patterns and stuff you guys did a great job on the skins let's check out the abilities right quick it looks like we have an extra senses slot here so we have plus health increases health by five percent plus damage increases damage by five percent and stamina drain in decreases stamina drain by five percent that's pretty decent for our head we have two slots headbutt a quick headbutt attack can be used while running all right then we have shove shoving headbutt that lunges you forward dealing medium knockback and low damage it debuffs your opponent's acceleration by 25 percent for five seconds that's probably pretty good to use on fast opponents shattering blow slow heavy head slam that deals damage within an area of effect and shatters armor reducing it by 15 percent can't be used while sprinting that's pretty wild but you have to be walking or probably standing your guard charged ram charge up the attack to inflict fracture lowering a creature's sprint speed by 20 percent land the attack again to turn fracture into bone break must charge up to half to be able to perform the attack so they would be slow you down the first hit and then they'd break your leg on the second hit bite a quick attack that increases in power with each hit okay so basically another barrage type ability and then our regular senses we have adrenaline Packy rhino starts pawing the ground as a threat display which buffs its damage and speed by 15 percent temporarily must be standing still to use that sounds pretty great because he's already got like a kind of decent speed to him not super super fast but with adrenaline that's gonna be an awesome lone survivor 10 percent armor increased and move maneuverability when not in a group morale boost as the leader you boost the morale of the horde the herd not the horde <laughs> shortens the cooldowns of you and your teammates within 30 meters by 15 percent that's pretty nice stampede increases damage by 2.5 percent for each ceratopsian in a group very nice and then sunbather sun on pachyrhinos saurus frill relieves it from any pain improves health regeneration by 20 percent and stamina regeneration by 10 percent during the day those are all really really nice and super useful front limb we have balance gain five 
percent improved turning speed i love the icon for this like the little ripples it looks really cool block negates damage of an incoming attack if it connects with the head neck or front of the body uses stamina when activated brace quick block that reduces incoming damage by 70 percent and doesn't cost stamina which is pretty good metabolism we have herbivore able to eat berries and fruit moderate food drain and then we have hardened beak able to eat nuts roots and bones and slower food drain our hide we have hardened skin increases bone break damage by 15 percent and bone break resistance by 50 percent so you might be a menace to like rexes and dasp resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30 percent strong will take 25 percent reduced damage from hits to your head neck and chest tough shoots increases armor by 15 percent then our legs we have charge charge forward causing damage and knockback and then rampage charge forward with great power deals bone break so one does bone break and one just does a lot of damage back limb balance improves your turning in place by five percent same icon but with the back foot if you notice those details long distance runner reduces your running stamina drain by 15 percent rear stomp Stomp with your legs, damaging whatever is behind you in a small area. Strong legs, take 40% less knockback and 15% increased bone break healing. All very, very good options. And then voice, we have one option, Monarch. Prove yourself a capable leader in and out of combat. See details for more information. So details. Oh, you got two actually. Combat, your subordinates turn and accelerate 20% faster and regenerate stamina 25% faster. Your turn and accelerate 15% faster, lasts for one minute. Survival, your group's hunger and thirst drain 50% slower. Sprint stamina reduced is by 20% and have increased trot speed by 20%. You also take reduced survival damage, last two minutes. That's pretty nice. Like if you guys see like a big group of uh, carnivores, apexes or not, um, and you guys are low, like you just got out of combat, you could do this so that you guys can get away pretty fast. All right, here's our eating animation right quick. really crunching on these but it's pretty slow decent it really stretches that head out but a very simple eating animation nothing too outrageous or anything all right let's go through the abilities right quick first we have headbutt oh it's pretty wide range right there up and down one more time and nice short cooldown next we have shove oh okay I was thinking a bit more kind of like the other packet rhino where it'd be like a jump forward with this more like a like a side swipe let's do it one more time shove that's not bad next we have block this takes stamina but it'll block 100 percent of the damage from whichever attack you block next we have charge Ooh, it was a slow startup but it goes for quite a while. Let's see it one more time. Charge. I love the way it looks from the front. Very aggressive. After that, we have Shattering Blow. That does area of effect damage, which is pretty cool. Then we have Bite. Pretty quick, low cooldown, but that stacks like Suko's Barrage. Next, we have Brace. Oh, it's kind of like a turn your head to the side thing. One more time, Brace. And that blocks 70% of the damage instead of 100% like Block does. Then we have Rampage, which is basically the same as Charge, but this one's going to do Bone Break. Next, we have Rear Stomp. Oh, okay. That is not at all what I was expecting, but I guess that makes sense. It looks a little weird, but it's kind of cute. We'll look more from the backside. One more time, rear stomp. There we go. It's very interesting animation. Probably the first I've seen like that. And lastly are our voice abilities. We can't use it without being in the group, but as you can see here, combat will make you turn and accelerate faster, as well as the people in your group. And then survival will make you drain slower and increase your trot speed. Both are very, very useful in groups and herds so definitely utilize that if you're not gonna be solo overall my opinion on the pachyrhinosaurus kto mod is it's really really cool it's definitely different from the other mod that just came out as well which is really really nice it's got some cool animations very nice sounds very nice skins it does not have a lot of stamina it drains really really quickly but it also regenerates at a decent speed so it shouldn't be too much of a problem you have decent base turning radius and you got abilities to make that faster if you need to. You do bone break, you do damage, you can slow people down. There's 
quite a lot of different things that you can do with Paki Rhino. So he has a lot of utility for the game, both for solo play as well as in a group. With that being said, we just kind of have to see how much health this guy has and how much actual damage he does to determine whether it is as much of a powerhouse as we expect it to be. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods as well as games you might not have heard of. Again, thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you in the next video.